10 Good Reasons to Disregard What Others Say About You The desire to be liked and accepted by others is innate in human nature. Because everyone around us does, we accept the current state of affairs as it is. We tread carefully through life, acting in ways that appease others. Our behavior, looks, and lives eventually take on the characteristics we believe other people find attractive. However, the truth is that our decisions and actions are frequently negatively impacted by what other people believe about us. Our potential to lead rich, autonomous lives can be greatly hampered by our desire to submit to the preferences of others. We provide you with some very good reasons in this video to disregard what other people think of you. First thing first, your life is your business. Your life is what you do. How often have you wondered how certain things, like how these clothes would make me appear, will affect how you look? If I voice my opinions, what would my coworkers think? Are those folks secretly chatting trash behind my back? What would my friends and family think of me if I accept this job? Take a look. Individuals are free to hold any opinion they choose. As you have the right to think whatever you like. Unless you let them, what other people think of you cannot alter who you are or what you are worth. You have this life to live. You are the only one who needs to ultimately approve of the decisions you make for yourself. That is, unless you are married, of course. That's a completely different subject. Second, they're not sure what's best for you. They are unaware of what is best for you. It's critical to understand that other people frequently base their opinions on what they would do. The issue is with this alone. It might not be the best for you to do what is best for someone else. No one will ever care about your life the way you do. Therefore, you must learn from your own decisions in order to determine what is best for you. You can never really learn anything unless you take complete responsibility for the decisions you make on your own. This way, instead of blaming someone else, if you do fail, at least you can fully learn from it. Third, people's perceptions shift. People's perspectives shift. Everybody has an inner story that shapes their thoughts and how they interact with others at any given time. However, our opinions, ideas, and thoughts are constantly evolving. This implies that even if someone currently has a negative opinion of you, there's a good possibility they won't for a while. In summary, people's opinions are meaningless. And that's a fairly excellent excuse to put aside your concern for what other people think. Number 4. You'll have a lot more happiness. You'll experience happiness. You'll discover that you're spending more time doing the things that bring you joy when you start putting your needs first. Being self-aware will help you become a more well-rounded person. It will provide you more time management skills and leisure time. You will thus truly change how other people see you, which will undoubtedly make you even happy. Your connections will get better. Number 5. Your interactions will get better. Try prioritizing yourself in more circumstances. You will then have a far stronger foundation to defend your actions in relationships. Saying, no, with conviction comes from having the ability to create boundaries with effectiveness. You'll just do the things that make you happy and that will give you more energy and a better reputation for dependability rather than accepting every request. In the long run, these will improve the quality of your connections with other people significantly. It benefits your career. Sixth, it's beneficial to your career. Give this some thought for a moment. Who are the individuals who advance up the leadership and management hierarchies at work? Usually, it's the more self-serving individuals. Prioritizing oneself increases a person's likelihood of setting and working toward goals. They also have a lower tendency to feel guilty about their ambition, which makes them far more inclined to ask for a raise and pursue a promotion. In addition to looking out for those in their immediate vicinity, managers and leaders also need to look out for themselves. Furthermore, it's unlikely that you'll be very good at taking care of others if you can't take care of yourself. Number 7. People are not as concerned as you may think. We spend our entire day worrying about what other people could be thinking of us. In actuality, though, those folks are thinking precisely the same thing. In actuality, people don't spend a lot of time thinking about others. The typical individual uses their ego to filter the world. Most of the time, we only think in terms of me, or, my. This implies that people are unlikely to think about you at all until, who you are, or, what you have done, directly impacts them or their life. You'll never please everyone, number 8. You can never win over everyone. It is impossible to please everyone all the time. 
There truly is no point in exhausting oneself trying to live up to everyone's expectations because it is impossible to do so. Being liked by everyone is not as good as being loved by a select group of people who you truly care about. These individuals are your spouse, family, and friends. Basically, the people who accept you for who you are and who will support you in your darkest moments. These are the ones who really important, so pay attention to them. 9. You get what you give. What you sow is what you get. An excessive amount of worry about what other people think can become self-fulfilling since our thoughts eventually influence the way we act. Furthermore, the actions we take in an effort to win over people may have the opposite impact. This implies that if you're a pushover, pushover people will come into your life and attract themselves to you. And the other way around. Trying to please everyone will not make you immune to criticism. The majority of people dislike pushovers, but they also dislike haughty bastards. Ultimately, you are the one who has to deal with the fallout from your actions. Both negative and positive. Tenth, life is just too short. Simply put, life is too short. Why would you waste your one and only life worrying about what other people think? Be who you want to be and do anything you want. You can really live your life if you don't care about what other people think or believe about you. Never forget that you have the right to make choices for your life, even if they don't agree with others. It is truly possible for you to consciously choose to cease caring. You will discover your true self once you stop giving in to the opinions and thoughts of others. There are already a lot of people in the world who follow the status quo. However, those who don't care are the ones who bring about change in the world. You now have the freedom to select your course of action. I appreciate you seeing. With any luck, this video has inspired you. Give it a like and share it with your friends if you concur. We can continue to produce videos by using it to spread the word about them. Subtitle to our channel to see more videos much like this one. Remember to press the notification bell as well.